<sighs> what is going on, guys? Uh, breaking NFL news. The Cleveland Browns have found their next head coach and its current offensive coordinator of the Minnesota Vikings, Kevin Stefanski. Okay, when you take a step back and you look at Kevin's body of work with the Minnesota Vikings, he's been with this organization for a long, long, long time. Uh, really paid his dues, put in the time, put in the effort, and worked his way up through the corporate ladder, right? Pretty much a linear progression throughout the years. Uh, working his way all the way up to uh, offensive coordinator, where he was promoted to that position uh, a couple seasons ago after Pat Shermer, uh, you know, OC, current OC at the time, uh, left for the New York Giants head coaching position. So Stefanski put in the time, he paid his dues. Uh, this is a this is a dude who has tons of respect within the Vikings organization. I, I remember reading, I think it was a season ago, when they were debating on firing Mike Zimmer, they were almost going to promote Stefanski to head coach. Okay, so this Vikings team did not want to see Kevin go. Now the Cleveland Browns have him. I look at Kevin Stefanski, and even though he's a well-respected individual uh, who's you know obviously made the playoffs with this team and, and everything, uh, Kirk Cousins seems to be putting, uh, put, uh, putting up pretty good stats. I'm not the biggest fan of this hire. I got to be honest with you. Now, I will say this. It's a lot better than Josh McDaniels. I know there's a lot of Browns fans out there that wanted McDaniels. I'm not a fan of McDaniels at all. I mean, really, he, he didn't do well in Denver. He didn't do well with the Rams. He's actually awful with the Rams. Um, I didn't like what he did with the Indianapolis Colts a season ago where he accepted and backed out. It's just shady. He's a highly combu That's a highly combustible situation, right, with... Uh, you know, with hiring a new GM, McDaniels is kind of a younger guy who is, he's not the easiest guy to get along with. Baker Mayfield's kind of the same way. So I'm glad that the, that the Cleveland Browns just stayed away from Josh McDaniels and did not hire him. So I do prefer Stefanski over Josh, but I, I really, I was looking at this Browns team and I really, really wanted a guy who, and by the way, I'm not saying Stefanski sucks and he's going to be horrible and the Browns are going to be picking one, two, or three next season. Not saying that in the least. Because uh, the Browns still have a ton of talent. Freddie Kitchens just couldn't really get it out of the team. I thought Greg Williams did a fantastic job uh, as the interim head coach a couple seasons ago. But uh, I guess that's beside the point. Uh, point is, is I was looking for the Cleveland Browns to hire more of a veteran presence. I thought Mike McCarthy would have been the perfect fit for this Browns team. Even a Ron Rivera. But, uh, you know, again, the Dallas Cowboys and the Redskins jumped on those guys early. Obviously, those two guys were kind of the hot candidates coming into the, uh, the offseason. And uh, they made a move, and they and they got pretty much got their guys under big big deals. So uh, the Browns kind of they did their due diligence for sure. They interviewed guys like um, I, I think they tried to interview Matt Rule. I think they interviewed uh, Eric Bieniemy, who else? Brian Dable, current offensive coordinator of the Bills. Uh, Sala or Robert Sala, the defensive coordinator of the 49ers, and uh, Greg Roman as well. So the Browns did their due diligence for sure. McDaniels obviously as well so they went with the best guy and uh, Paul D. Potesta got his way right he got his way he's been wanting Stefanski for a long time now uh, I think I think he wanted him back um, a couple seasons ago when they hired uh, I th it was either last season or when they hired Hugh Jackson I believe it was back in 2016 he wanted Kevin he's an analytics analytics type of uh, or analytics driven type of guy and uh, he won Kevin so he finally got his wish and we'll see what the Browns can do. Now, as far as this offense goes, I do think this is a perfect fit. Uh, the personnel is a perfect fit for Stefanski's offense. I look at what they did in uh, Minnesota. What do they have? They have two explosive, uh, uh, durable, or um, not durable, reliable wide receivers in Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen. What do you have in Cleveland? Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, right? Two explosive receivers that can not only stretch the field, but uh, you know are reliable on third downs. You have a... Uh, Nice, nice tight end in David Njoku. What do they have in Minnesota? A nice tight end in uh, Kyle Rudolph. A guy who you can check the football down to. A, a nice red zone threat as well. Njoku's younger and more explosive and uh, overall more athletic. So I like to see Njoku get involved. Uh, and then as well as the run game, when you take a look at that, I mean, Minnesota doesn't have the best offensive line, but Dalvin Cook dominated this season, okay? Nick Chubb dominated this season with a bad below average offensive line not the worst offensive line but a below average offensive line i look for this team to be a running a run first team built off play action i think this is the, i think that is the perfect fit for baker mayfield i know he played in the spread system at oklahoma but under todd haley's system uh his rookie year under greg williams once todd haley got let go and freddie kitchens was calling todd haley's plays that was his perfect system, okay? I really like Baker Mayfield under center, 
really feeding off the run game and then pulling it back off of bootlegs, pulling it back, stepping up in the pocket and ripping passes downfield. Um, I don't want to see Baker Mayfield throwing 45 times a game. There's really no point to that. I want to see Baker maybe throw 25, 28, 30 times a game uh, in the play action game, right? Really run the ball, feed Nick Chubb. Remember, you still have a whole offseason with free agents. You still have a whole offseason with uh, the NFL draft 